Okay, so when, when you're spreading the grout to fill the joints, you keep it on a low angle. Low angle, see how it's low angle to push it in. Okay, so the tools you're gonna need for grouting is a float. I like these kind of floats. It's like a, it's a softer float. You're gonna need a margin trowel. You're gonna call a drill with a mixing, mixing paddle, measuring pail, and sponges. You can get either these kind of sponges or these kind of sponges. Uh, I, prefer, I prefer these ones, uh, but any sponge will work. And then obviously a clean pail to mix your grout. You measure the water, you put, add the water to the bucket, and then you add the grout to the bucket. Don't put the grout in first, put the water in first. So let's, let's measure the water and then and start mixing this grout. So this grout needs 1 to 1.1 quarts of water per 10 pound bag of grout. I'm going to mix the whole thing. I'm going to go on the, on the lower side rather than the higher side because on the wall tile you want a little stiffer so it doesn't keep on falling all over the place. Okay, so I measured the water. Put that in. Put the grout in. The directions are very clear. Mix for three to five minutes, let it sink, slake, two to three minutes, and then remix it again. So for like 30 seconds. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna remix it and stop grouting. So when you're grouting, you need to make sure you wear gloves because you know, the, the grout is very caustic. So I like these gloves, these are nitrile gloves. They're very, very, very tough and they won't break. Okay, so it's been slaking for a few minutes. Gonna mix it up again and start grouting. Time to grout. Okay, so I like to start from the top and work my way down. When you're grouting, you want to push the grout into the joints. Make sure you fill the joints completely. So when you fill in the grout lines, keep it on a low angle and push it in. And then go over it. Don't be afraid to use a good amount of grout. So you keep it on a low angle, low angle, and you push it in. Scrape it off and keep it on a high angle and get off as much as you can. Low angle, push it in. Don't go like this. This is going to take you forever going like this. Do the whole flow. Because this is a very porous tile, when I touch this grout, nothing transfers to my finger. That means it's ready to wash. It's going to take a lot longer on the floor. Let's start washing right away. So you want to get all the tile clean, work the joints, get them nice and even. Now, for 
for like this sprint, just pull one direction. Flip it over. And keep on going back and forth. Okay, so that was quick to grout that. I'm gonna get the rest of the top and then I'll work on the bottom. And uh, I'll show you a little bit closer when I get over here with it. So when, when you're spreading the grout to fill the joints, you keep it on a low angle, like on a low angle like this, so that you push it in. Low angle, so you, you push the grout, grout in. When you go to clean the grout off, you keep it at a high angle, very high angle like that. So that you use the, the squeegee edge to pull all the grout off. So, low angle, see how it's low angle, to push it in, and then you use a high angle to clean it off. Low angle, see it or not but there's a haze on the tile it's kind of hard to see in the camera but there's a haze on the tile so I'm gonna wipe this down and then I'm gonna caulk everything that needs to be caulked and then I'm gonna grab the, the shower floor now the reason I, I'm gonna caulk everything is so once I, I grab the shower floor I can come out and I don't have to go back in there so uh, I'm gonna wipe this down and one wash that I did. I didn't do a secondary wash because usually this kind of tile you can get away with just one wash. If this on the floor tile I'm probably gonna have to do a second rinse. Okay, okay so that's all wiped down. I'm gonna back in the floor one last time. First I'm gonna caulk all the corners all around the perimeter, all the corners and everything. Not going to be in this video, that's going to be for another video. So, this shower stall is all ground and caulk. Now I'm going to grab the floor, the shower floor, and the bathroom floor. Now, this is going to go a little bit differently to the wall because the wall tile was very porous, so it, it, it the grout dried very quickly. The floor tile is not porous, it's porcelain tile, so it's going to take a, a little bit longer for the grout to set up. So I'm gonna grout the whole thing and then I'm gonna let it set up so that when I touch it, there's no transfer to my fingers. Then I'll, then I'll wash it down. So I'm gonna grout the whole thing. 
I'm gonna upload a second video to describe how to grab the floor. It's gonna be a slightly different procedure because the floor tile is porcelain tile, therefore you're gonna to have to wait for the grout to set up a bit before you can actually wash it. The wall tile in this shell was very porous, so it sucked the moisture right out of the grout and I had to wash very quickly so I could only do a section at a time. So okay, next video, how to grout a floor.